going on guys? A little short video here. A little night drive in the Gentry. Uh, I do love this truck. I'm just pissed off about all the little minor issues with it. The one thing I do love though is that now you can run the cameras non-stop. There's like no five second countdown until the camera turns off. So if anybody had a Gen or a TRX or a GMC before owning any Raptor, you know that that rear view camera and the rear view mirror is awesome and I loved it in my TRX. But I think this is even better now that you can run the cameras all times here. And even the third brake like camera for the bed and all the other ones still work. So I think that's pretty cool. I do love being in a Raptor at night though with the ambient lighting. Not even a Raptor, just Ford. The blue lighting just looks so sick in the dark. Yeah, we're in Baja exhaust right now, just cruising. 16, 17 miles a gallon average, just like Gen 2, basically. No difference. It's definitely got way more torque and a better uh, transmission tune from the factory, that's for sure. So, they're hiding their numbers on this, for sure. They're definitely debunking them. Because I think with the five-link rear and the coil setup, the truck's definitely putting the power down better. So, once Goose Tune comes out with a tune for this thing, pff, yeah, I think it'll run pretty close with a TRX on the street because of the torque that it'll make. So, but yeah, there's nothing like a Raptor. The nimble, light feeling, the handling, it's just, they just have everything. These trucks just have everything. Anybody that owns a Raptor knows. I loved my TRX. I really did. Uh, would I buy another one? Of course I would. But I had to get the Gentry. I'm a Ford guy. I love these trucks. So, see how it treats me. If I keep having problems with it, I'll go back to a TRX. So, that's it. I'll make a couple videos once it breaks in a little bit more. Zero 60s. Stuff like that. Alright, boys. Thanks a lot.